Okay, so the other day we were over at our daughter and son-in-law's place and our grandson, Oliver, the only grandson, Oliver, uh, was complaining. He was complaining that his bones hurt. And uh, we finally figured out that he, he had no fever, he wasn't ill, uh, he wasn't coughing, he wasn't sneezing, uh, which is a obvious significance to somebody like me who can't be around anybody that's ill because I have no immune system yet. Uh, but we figured out that he was going through a growth spurt. And as a result, his joints hurt. That's what he meant when he said his bones hurt. And um, my head hurts because I think I'm going through a growth spurt. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm experiencing the same thing that, that Oliver went through, only um, with regard to learning and, and um, integrating a lot of new information uh, into my reality at this particular moment. Um, and part of the reason, part of the reason actually makes sense. I mean, I'm, I'm in the process of preparing for probably four or five different podcast interviews um, with some podcasters I've, I've never experienced before and, and others who I know very well. And, uh, and that preparation has gotten me listening to podcasts that I wouldn't have listened to um, under other circumstances. Uh, and, and it's got me subscribing. And I'm starting to get worried about that. That's that's the subject of a whole another uh, blog for me. And that the the more insatiable your curiosity and your knowledge becomes, the more you sign up for things that are going to go ahead and satisfy that urge to challenge yourself with new knowledge. And there are only so many seconds in a minute, only so many minutes in an hour, only so many hours in a day. And you know, the hurrier you go, the behinder you get. Um, Oh, did I happen to mention that today is Wednesday, uh, October 23rd, and it is journal number 2000, uh, 204, I keep saying 2000, that's bizarre, um, 204, and uh, we are T plus 204, uh, headed to 205 tomorrow when I'll be at clinic in, uh, in Duarte, visiting the mothership at the City of Hope. Uh, but I've been exposed to so many new ideas, listening to so many different podcasts that um, my head hurts. Uh, it, I mean, literally, it, 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 it hurts because each idea ties itself to another idea and either, either ties itself to something that you've learned just recently or it, it explodes into a beautiful fireworks of, of knowledge that you're about to put together. Um, and it's exciting because, you know, whenever you hit, hit a wall where you realize that, uh, you don't know what you don't know and you're, you're confronted with new sources of knowledge, it's exciting. Uh, because then you know what you don't know and you go to the second stage of knowledge and you, you can start to, to track wisdom, uh, And one of the articles that I came across uh, talks about this notion of applied curiosity and how it separates um, it separates individuals into categories. I don't like to do that generally. I don't think people fit neatly into little boxes. Um, we all have these jagged little edges that that don't want to go ahead. Uh, we're not 100% round, nor are we 100% square. So consequently, we don't fit into square holes and um, round holes all that well. And it means if you try to pound somebody into one of those um, shapes, you're going to go ahead and, and either damage them or damage the model. But this idea of applied curiosity is worth exploring, I, I think. Um, and it's worth exploring whether you're in business or in life. And I've had real experience with this in the respect um, 
that I've run, run headlong into the medical, medical community and I've had some really fine doctors. I mean, I've had probably two <clears throat> of the six or eight best hematologists, oncologists in the world look at me. And uh, one who is now at the at Cedars Sinai, uh, Dr. Ron Paquette, and my, my doctor at City of Hope, Dr. David Snyder, no relation. Um, and my doctor in, in Westlake, Dr. Sharia Shari, who is one of the finest hematologists, oncologists I've ever run across. Certainly one of the most human uh, and in the very best context of that word. Uh, and all of them have the same thing in common. They're all insanely curious, but their, their curiosity is applied. It's specific. Um, but in many cases, not just to their area of expertise. I'm interested in this idea of applied curiosity as how, how it applies to business, how it applies to leadership, how it applies to management. And uh, going to the heart of it, it, it's a curiosity about specifics, about specific things. It's a, a curiosity about how things work and, and more than that, how to make them work better. Um, and I'm guilty of that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really guilty of that. If I walk into an automotive repair environment, um, you can be sure I'm taking a lifetime of knowledge that I've acquired, and particularly the knowledge I've acquired over the last almost 40 years on management and leadership uh, operations and uh, operational excellence to look at that facility and try and figure out what's going on and how to make it better, how to, run, how to make it run smoother. What kinds of tools are they using? Are there better tools in the marketplace to do what they're doing? Could they do it more effectively? Could they do it more profitably? Um, but I'll tell you the God's honest truth. I'm likely to walk into a 7-Eleven and do the same thing or, or into a dollar store or into Nordstrom's or anywhere else and just try and, and figure out what's going on. Why are they doing it this way? Uh, could they be doing it better? Why aren't they doing it better if they could? Uh, all of those things. And, and that goes to the heart of uh, a very steep, infinite, and continuous learning curve uh, that's self-imposed. It, it, it's what leads you to read a book while somebody else is watching a sitcom. It's what leads you to listen to a podcast uh, on excellence or management or leadership uh, or operations when somebody else is asleep on the couch. Not that sleep on the couch is a bad thing and not that sitcoms, sitcoms are a bad thing. It's just that, that whatever genetic mutation that you have coursing through your body um, that's causing you to relentlessly pursue things like this um, separates you from so many other people. Um, you know, there, I, the joke goes that there are three kinds of people in the world. There are people that make things happen. There are people that watch things happen and there are people that wonder what just happened. Um, people that practice applied curiosity um, They, they are curious about what happened um, just as much as they're curious about what is likely to happen in the future and to use their imagination to extrapolate that future and, and, to, and to place themselves in that future in situations that don't exist, exist yet so that they'll have at least some inkling of how they're going to approach that. It also goes to the heart of making complex things um, less complex and then figuring out ways to operationalize whatever it is that you're working on. It, 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 it recognizes that, that this applied curiosity um, drives ambition. Um, and I don't mean the bad kind of ambition. I'm just talking about um, an ambition about a better future, an ambition to have a better future. Um, 
And, and something that, that's worth mentioning is that these leaders, leaders that practice this, um, and they don't have to be business leaders, they could be uh, organizational leaders, they could be associational leaders, they could be leaders within your church group or with your synagogue or within your mosque, they can be um, leaders in art as easily as leaders in science. Um, they're willing to go ahead and, and, and play on teams that they don't necessarily manage, that aren't necessarily theirs. And they're um, And they're more likely than than other individuals within society to cultivate and nurture other leaders. Um, they're not afraid of having talented people around them. They're not afraid of being challenged. They're, they're not afraid of of um, they're not afraid of somebody surpassing whatever it is that they accomplished. So think about curiosity. Think about what that's all about. Think about being more than just, you know, the Jeopardy kind of uh, curious. Think about a larger, more specific, more applied curiosity. I think it's worth the time. I think that you'll find it fascinating. And I'll, I, I think you'd find it interesting to at least develop some idea of how you fit into all of that. So um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to a, a blog post tomorrow because we are visiting the mothership and, and you know, that can take more time than, um, than is scheduled, than is planned. But I look forward to hanging out with you tomorrow. Until then, stay well, take care. This is me signing off.